All right, it is finally Friday, which means we are on to the last uh, last day of this training week. Um, we're on day five of week two of the training block. And surprise, we have more legs because we have legs three out of five days this block. But uh, a couple other things. So our main movements of the day, we're gonna have, uh, it's written as an axle overhead march. Last week I used the yoke um, partially because of ease of setup and partially because the yoke is less stable, which I think is really beneficial for that movement. So we'll, we'll probably continue with that this week and do a yoke overhead march. Um, then going into a 10 rep max on squats with the transformer bar at the low bar setting. Um, uh, low bar squats feel really foreign now. I used to train almost exclusively low bar when I was powerlifting. Um, and for years, I've really only been doing high bar, partially because of my shoulder mobility limitations and partially just because it has a really, um, it has a better carryover uh, to strongman. Um, and what I actually need squats for. So it's been a long time since I've done a low bar squat and last week they felt really foreign. So the weight wasn't super heavy, um, but it, it was really hard and challenging. So I'm hoping as I kind of re-familiarize with that movement, I can start pushing the weights a little bit more. So we'll see how that goes today. Um, and then we're ending with some sled sprints um, and some uh, hamstring curls and pace pulls. So I'm gonna head out and start getting warmed up. Uh, our first superset of the day it's going to be an ankle rock and high knees. So let's get started. All right, so starting with some ankle mobility, uh, some front foot elevated ankle rocks, six to eight on these. Uh, it's written with just a one count pause, but I like to sink into that stretch a little bit more. Make sure I'm really getting something out of it. Um, keeping your heel down, it's really easy for that to kind of pop up a little bit. So you're not getting as much out of the stretch. So heel down. Sometimes I like to do this with a band too to kind of block my ankle. Um, but using my hands to kind of push my knee forward into a good ankle mobility stretch. All right, and then going into some really explosive high knees. Whew. <laughs> Fast as fuck, boy. <laughs> All right. And then we're revisiting the, uh, the swimmers that we did earlier in the week, the shoulder warm up rehab exercise. So, again, you can do these chest supported on a bench. When I'm doing them as a warm pipe, I don't really worry about that because just body weight. I'm not super worried about um, like using torso momentum or anything, but uh, I'm just going to go leaning forward, pinkies back, thumbs forward. Pinkies back, thumbs forward. Doing six to eight reps here also. All right, so we paired our swimmers with a bottoms up kettlebell march, uh, 16 steps per side. You can also do those for carries, presses. It's also a really good shoulder stability exercise. And on those bottoms up kettlebell carries, holds, marches, presses, whatever it is, really want to focus on stabilizing the shoulder. So keeping the shoulder blade depressed, lat activation to create some support, um, really focusing on not just front raising it up, but keeping all of that packed and depressed in a way that feels really stable. All right, so first uh, main exercise of the day is going to be an overhead march. Last week we did this with just the empty yoke, so we're going to go heavier than that today, but we'll do a warm-up set here first, um, kind of feel out the movement, uh, gauge how my body's feeling today, and then decide on a weight for what is going to be three sets of 20 steps. Doesn't feel bad today. Uh, the hardest part right now is my wrist hurts really bad. Um, I know I mentioned before, I've had a, a long-term wrist injury on the right side that I just can't seem to figure out. And some days it hurts a little bit and some days it hurts really bad. Um, today, it's that didn't feel very good. And I think that's gonna be the limiting factor, but everything else felt okay. So I'm probably gonna bring this up to 205 for the day. We had 20 pound increase from last week. 
um, see how that feels, but I'm feeling that that's probably going to be appropriate for uh, what we want out of this exercise today. All right, so we're up to our working weight here. Uh, same kind of concept as the bottoms up kettlebell where we're really focused on keeping your shoulder blades packed, supporting the movement through my lats and not reaching up and like holding it from my delts and my shoulders, but stacking my joints, which is really hard for me because my, my mobility is shit, but really focusing on forcing my arms back, packing my shoulders and really like stacking my joints on top of each other, supporting the movement with my lats. Um, so that's the focus of what we're doing. Uh, this will probably be the working weight today. Uh, this is first set out of three. Exhale at the end was a bad idea. <laughs> All right, so that weight feels appropriate for today. So we've got two more sets there before we move on to squats. All right, so we're moving on to squats. Uh, we have the transformer bar out on the low bar level one setting. Um, so like I was saying, uh, the low bar positions are feeling a little bit foreign. Last week when I was doing this, I was getting a little bit of um, discomfort slash some pain, I think, because I was trying to imitate my higher bar positions with the low bar setting. Um, and it wasn't really working for me, but as soon as I made a couple changes, it felt a lot better. I had to take my stance out a little bit wider, push my hips back more than I'm used to, and let my torso um, angle come forward a little bit, and that kind of fixed it, but it did make the, the movement feel really foreign. Um, so we're gonna work on that today, try to familiarize with those positions again. Um, this will be my first warm-up set. Um, last week we hit 255 for 10, so the goal today is gonna be to get a little bit heavier than that. We're up to 235. This will probably be the last warm-up set that I do before picking on a weight for the top set, which again is a set of 10. Um, last week, as I said, hit 255, so I would really like to hit maybe like 275 for 10 today, um, but this set will kind of tell us where we're at. It is really hard to get used to it being a hingier squat. I usually like to stay very vertical with it. Um, it's hard to get used to, but we are gonna, uh, I think, try to bring it up to 275 for the top set. felt appropriate. Um, it is humbling. It's like I was saying, I think my best 10 rep on high bar squat um, was like 365. I was 275, so 
pretty big difference. Um, but it does just feel really foreign. I probably actually could have gone a little bit heavier than that, but on high bar, it's really easy for me to focus on not letting my hips and knees shoot back, really staying in my quads. And it's difficult on this because it is less quad dominant, but I do still have to be mindful and active about my quads. And right off the bottom, because it is hingier, I'm finding that it's a lot easier um, to let my hips shift back and turn it into more like a squat good morning um, and really trying to actively avoid that. So even though there is less knee tracking forward and more torso angle forward, um, still need to be mindful about pushing my knees forward slightly out of the hole and not letting them shift back even more since they are starting from a, a further point back. Um, it's just a lot of like thinking and like mental energy to do the reps correctly, but I'm actually really happy with how that felt. No back pump, no back pain, no SI pain, anything that I was getting last week. So very happy with that um, feel, feeling like uh, we can probably start pushing the weight a little bit more on those safely as I get kind of more familiar with the movement again. So that's cool. Um, done there. We just had the one top set. Moving on to some accessories. I don't remember what they are, but um, we'll see you back in a second. All right, so up next, um, I probably won't film this just because of tricky with camera placement, but I have a sled sprint EMOM. It's like a five rounds every minute on the minute. Pretty lightweight, just working on speed. Um, explosivity, getting the heart rate up a little bit. So I'm gonna go do that, and then I'll meet you back at the very end for just a couple of accessories, but it's not a super long workout today. It's taken me a long time just because I've been fucking off a little bit. But um, we are almost done. Five rounds of sled sprints, and I'll see you back after that. All right, so sled sprints are done. Uh, we've gotten through two rounds of our hamstrings and uh, face pulls so far. Um, starting with the seated hamstring curl. Um, we're going pretty high on the RPE here. Sets of 12 with a one count pause at the bottom. So we're really wanting to be intentional about controlling the movement, getting a good squeeze and pause at the bottom of each rep, even as we get tired. It's really easy to get lazy about that pause as you get tired toward the end of the set. Uh, so if you've got a buddy to count it for you, that's really the best way to go. And then a chest supported dumbbell face pull. So really wanna be intentional about the angles here. So elbows back, that's gonna be just like a row. We can do a high row. With a face pull, we want a little bit of rotation also so that the dumbbells end up more towards our temples as opposed to our shoulders. So we're doing sets of 10 on this one. Okay. All right, so that's a wrap for today. Um, overall, pretty low volume workout. Um, in general, most of my workouts, some of the stuff has been hard, but not like crazy. So I actually might ask coach about ramping it up a little bit. Granted, this was kind of the first block back after a really big contest and after a month off. So it's probably good that we ease into it, but today really didn't feel too hard. Um, not really high volume on anything and my body feels pretty good. So uh, that wrapped up week two. We're halfway through this block. Next week will be peak week. Which, so that means it'll be like the heaviest weights and everything. I think we've gone through everything together except my day two. So hopefully I won't be at an LA Fitness this time so I can actually take you guys through that. Um, but then that'll be a wrap on this whole block. So uh, let me know what you guys have thought. Leave questions in the comments. And as always, like, share, subscribe, all of those things. And hopefully I'll see you back next week for uh, day two.